we have a lens one side of which is silvered and we need to determine the focal length of this system so eventually the incident ray reflects back so the system is actually a mirror so for this equivalent mirror we need to find the focal length first i'll just uh, quickly find the focal length using the formula and then we'll see how to do it in a proper way so let's say the surface here has radius r1 this is r2 then the formula for this system is mu1 by f equivalent is equal to 2 times mu2 by r2 minus 2 mu2 minus mu1 by r1 where r1 and r2 we need to put with appropriate signs so because the incident ray is coming from the left r1 will be positive and r2 will be negative now in our problem so outside is air so mu1 is 1 and the lens refractive index of lens is mu so in this formula we just put the values of mu and 1 so mu1 is 1 and mu2 is mu and r2 is minus r0 and r1 is plus r0 so let's say this is r0 so we don't get confused because these are here variables and this r0 is a numerical value so after that we just solve it and get our answer so that is using the formula now let us see the proper way so in any so these are the sign conventions i follow which is positive towards right so a typical sign convention is one of the common ones is the direction of incident ray is taken to be positive but i don't follow that i feel that this is this is more clear when we take the right side as positive always regardless of the direction of incident ray so this is the sign convention i follow which is always positive towards right now let's quickly see how these lenses in my sign convention will behave like so individually if you have a lens with a refractive index mu okay i added it anyway so for a biconvex lens because we are taking the right side as positive so we'll start uh, one upon fl is the mu minus one divided by this radius of curvature which with our sign convention is plus r naught plus one minus mu by minus r naught so if you have any doubt about how we are using this formula you can just watch the previous problem where we have explained how to calculate the focal lens for a system of uh, lenses so you remove all the other lenses and for a single lens we'll just apply this formula and get the focal length as this now for the same lens if the incident ray is coming from the right side then we are going to apply the formula in the same way but this time we are going to write the r of this surface as still negative and r of this surface as still positive but differences of refractive indexes will be different so one upon fl for this when the incident ray is coming from the left side will be mu minus one by r of this surface which is negative so mu minus one by minus r naught plus one minus mu by plus r naught so that will give fl as minus of r naught by two times mu minus one which you can see is just negative of what we got here which makes sense so if the incident ray is coming from the left focal length i mean focus is towards right and when incident ray is coming from left focus is towards left and with our sign conventions first focal length will be positive and second focal length will be negative now for a concave mirror of course the focal length will be towards left and we know its value is r naught by 2 and with our sign convention f of this mirror will be minus r naught by 2 
Now coming to our problem, so we have this lens and a mirror. So let's uh, say the object is at infinity because we need to find the focal length. So first the image will be formed because of the lens. So let's say that image forms at i1 and then the rays hit the mirror. So let's say the second image because of the mirror forms at i2 and then the rays pass through the lens again and let's say the final image is at i3. And the distances of uh, these images are, let's say, at distances x, y, and z. So I have taken all three towards right because with our sign convention, x, y, z, when we are going to put in the formula, they are all going to be put as it is without any, without worrying about any negative sign. So let's read a bit what we discussed. Let the object be at infinity at left side of the system. After passing through the lens first time, let the image be i1 at distance x after reflection from mirror let the image be i2 at distance y after passing through lens again let the final image be at i3 at distance z now this is the final image and our object was at infinity that means the final image is formed at the focus so z is f equivalent as per our sign convention because we have taken right side is positive so whatever value we get for the z that will be f equivalent so this is the advantage with my sign conventions that I don't have to put any minus sign here. So now let's solve the problem. So we'll do it in all three steps. First, the image will form by the lens. Then the image will form by the mirror. Then finally, again, the image will be formed by the lens. But this time, the direction of incident ray will be reversed. And these are the focal lengths for each of the case which we just saw here so when the lens when the incident ray is coming from the left then focal length is this when incident ray is incident on the mirror this is the focal length and when it is coming back and hitting the length lens focal length will be negative now first case object is at infinity so this lens will form the image at focus so x is simply fl that is r0 by 2 times mu minus 1 now it hits the mirror so we'll use the mirror formula and now like i said because of our sign conventions we just put the values of u and v by simple variables x and y so 1 by v is 1 by y u is x and focal length will be minus r0 by 2 so we'll just put the value of x from here to here and we'll get this. Now, the incident ray is already reflected from the mirror. So it's going to pass through the lens again. And this time our focal length will be this. Again, our mirror formula, sorry, lens formula, 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. And again, we don't have to worry about the signs. We'll just put the value of v, which is the final image that is at z. So 1 by z minus 1 by y is equal to 1 by fl. So we'll put the value of y from here to here and z as discussed is the final image when the object is at infinity. So z is f equivalent. So we'll put the value of z as f equivalent and solve it and get our answer as this. Now you can see that this is coming to be negative. So which is fine. So that means the the z has come to be negative so obviously the focus focus will be on the left side and that is expected for this concave mirror so this is how step by step we got our answer and yeah that's it also uh, if you want to derive this formula so you can do that using exactly what I did here. So here we put the the uh, values of x and y and if you carefully see this equation which we have got finally, you are going to see that that's the same as this formula. So I encourage you to derive this formula where the this is mu1. So this is a more general result because in our problem mu1 was 1. But using the same method which we did here, you can derive that same formula. All right.